Last year I made some upgrades and did some renovations to my home office setup. The longer I have the setup as is, the more I absolutely love it. I've been working from home full time now for about four years and wanted to make a separate video highlighting some of my favorite and most essential pieces in my home office. So without any further ado, let's get into the first item. First, I wanted to talk about the BenQ Light Bar Plus. That is the light bar sitting on my desk right behind me right there. When I got the light bar last year, it quickly became my my favorite piece of lighting in my home office. This was also something I was really focusing on when designing the home office. I really wanted to have warm, cozy lights with the Philips Hue bulbs and, and lighting is just really important when you make videos. I was a little concerned when I first got it that screen glare would be a problem and that it would affect the color accuracy of my monitor, something again very important when you make videos for a living. But immediately after I got it and set it up, the screen glare wasn't an issue and it has had such a great impact in reducing eye strain. You know, if you're someone that's like me and spends quite a bit of time at your desk working. You know, eye strain can be a real problem. That's actually why I started wearing glasses. My vision isn't terrible, but I get really bad headaches from staring at screens for extended periods of time. Having that reduction in eye strain has been so essential for me in my almost daily extended sessions answering emails and editing videos. In addition to the practicality though, it really adds a nice level of like class and polish to your desk setup. Having the desk illuminated from it just looks really nice. It's also a bicolor light so you can have it warmer or cooler depending on what your lighting is in your home office and it has a pretty big range in brightness settings and honestly goes way brighter than I usually even need. I believe they're around $100 so it's definitely an investment but when I first got it it really was mainly for the aesthetics and looks of the desk setup but if I were to go back and redo all of this again I don't think I could live without having it. That is how important it has become to my desk setup. Next up isn't an item but actually a service. This isn't something it's very exciting or fun to talk about, but backing up your data is so important and so few people have good data management and backup practices. I found a company called Backblaze a few years back from Caleb Pike from DSLR Video Shooter on his data management techniques. Excellent, by the way, go check out his channel if you haven't yet. But I looked into it and it really was as incredible of a service as he talked about. Uh, Backblaze will back up your computer for $7 a month just as a flat rate. A lot of backup services Services will actually tier the pricing based on the amount of data that you have on the hard drives but Backblaze is unique though where you can plug in as many external hard drives as you need to and it's still that flat rate of seven dollars. I have my main workstation editing computer behind me here but I also run a Mac mini server out of my living room for Plex and more data backup. All in all between the two computers I think I'm nearing a hundred terabytes of data that gets backed up continuously for fourteen dollars a month. If you've never shopped around for data backup services, that pricing is completely insane. For the years I've been using the service, it's worked flawlessly as well. I've also had to rely on those files plenty of times. Over the years, I've had files get corrupted in the middle of the editing process, but I also had an issue with my MacBook Pro last year where I had to send it in for repair and it got wiped and my time machine backup didn't work. So I had to pull everything off of Backblaze. It worked perfectly. $7 a month, I really can't recommend it enough. It is so inexpensive and has worked perfectly for me so far. Next up, I want to thank FlexiSpot for sponsoring this week's video and feature the next item on the list here, and that is my FlexiSpot standing desks, both in front of me here and in my main workstation behind me. These are the FlexiSpot Pro Series E5 desks. I have a 48 by 24 desk here and a 30 by 60 inch desk behind me. I received these desks last year as part of my home office renovations, and the longer I have them, the more I absolutely love love them. FlexiSpot does an incredible job at providing really high quality standing desks at a much lower price than most of the competition. The level of quality was the biggest surprise when I first received these. I have the solid walnut tabletops and they are excellent, especially considering the price. I really couldn't believe how nice the fit and finish of these are. The E5 models are also a dual motor setup, so you have plenty of headroom in the motor power to raise and lower if you have a heavier desk setup like my workstation behind me. You also have a really big height range from lowest to highest, so I think it's going to accommodate even the shortest to the tallest of people. 
The E5 has three presets on the keypad as well. So if you share your desk with someone else, you can each have your custom height dialed in. And if you're like me and you're solo in your home office, I have an ideal sitting height, standing height, and one that fits the chair underneath really comfortably. Having those presets makes it a lot easier to jump back and forth from sitting to standing. So it'll kind of help you promote that standing and help promote that movement throughout the day. I've really grown to love and appreciate the variety of working positions, especially for those extended editing or email sessions. FlexiSpot's actually running a huge sale on their website right now with up to $200 off their standing desks. It's their biggest promotion until Black Friday later this year. So if you're thinking about getting one sometime soon, definitely pick up that sale now. Check the links in the description below. Huge thanks to FlexiSpot for sponsoring this week's video and making such awesome desks. While we're on the topic of ergonomics and comfort, next on the list is my Herman Miller Aeron chair. I got that chair back in 2018 and it has been one of the wisest purchases I have ever made, period, even outside of my home office. I actually have scoliosis and some other back problems and sitting for extended periods of time in a lot of chairs is incredibly uncomfortable for me. The Aeron chair is one of the best out there for proper ergonomics while you're sitting and there's definitely a reason it has been such a popular crowd favorite for legitimate offices for so many years now. I can already see the comments now, you know, you bougie sell out that thing's so expensive, how dare you? I actually shopped around for about two years on the used market and was able to pick this up for $200. Uh, they normally retail somewhere between like $700 and $1,500, which is so much money. I totally agree. But the great thing with the Aeron chairs, because they're so popular, they have an incredibly vast resale market. And if you're patient and have some time on your hands, you can really find a great deal. I can pretty confidently say this thing is going to outperform and outlast any other $200 chair on the new market. Another aspect that has really made this chair great for me in the years that I've had it is the repairability and the self repairability. Because it's such high quality and it's been so popular in offices for so many years, you can find replacement parts for just about anything on that chair. A few years back, I actually had a bolt in the arm break from leaning on it too heavily and I've had the lumbar pad crack on me before. Uh, that was over the course of years and I bought it used so don't think there's like a durability problem but both of those parts were inexpensive and easy for me to repair myself um, so it's really great if you want to have something that's really going to last a lifetime and be one of the best options for your back health and ergonomics. Got a couple of beverage related items coming up maybe it sounds like a bit of a stretch to some of you but these are some of the most important items for when I'm working in my home office so I'm going to call it as good. Next up we have the Lark Pitcher. Um, I got this last fall as part of a promotion I did with Lark and have been completely obsessed with it ever since. Lark has made UV purification water bottles for quite some time, but last year they came out with a pitcher that uses the same UV purification technology, but just for your home water. In addition to the UV filtering, it also has a physical filter and the water that comes out of this is absolutely delicious. Um, being in Portland, we have really great tasty tap water here that's glacial melt from Mount Hood. I've always loved my tap water and thought it was flawless until I started filtering it with the Lark pitcher and since I have a really tough time going back to my regular tap water after getting used to how delicious the water is out of here. Staying hydrated while you're working though is very important. I'm a long-standing hydro homie and advocate for drinking water. I used to chug soda when I was younger and weighed over 300 pounds. I lost a bunch of weight a while back. If anyone's been around the channel for a while you might have seen those really old embarrassing videos. But uh, since then, I'm obsessed with water and constantly have water next to me at all times. Anything that gets you to drink more water, i.e. chilling it in the fridge, making it tastier with awesome filters is a great thing. I would highly encourage everyone to check this out or at least get a Brita pitcher or something like that to get your water filtered and cold and have yourself drink more of it. If I had one complaint with the Lark pitcher, it would be the slower flow rate that comes out of this. But other than that, this thing is excellent and I can't recommend it enough. If I'm not drinking water, I'm usually drinking coffee and that coffee is usually coming out of this Zojirushi thermos. I bought this back in 2017 before I worked from home and was still commuting to and from work on foot. You might remember my old tech bag videos where I had to carry my entire office on my back, but I picked this thermos up then and still continue to use it on a daily basis even though I'm working at home. I usually make a larger batch of coffee every morning. I put it in here and that way I can pour it out into 
into my normal coffee cup throughout the day and still have nice, delicious hot coffee. Reheating coffee is terrible. James Hoffman made a really great video on that if you want to check it out. Uh, I highly recommend it. His channel is awesome, by the way, if you love coffee stuff. But the Zojirushi thermos is about as perfect as a thermos can get. This thing has been used and abused and is beat up and dented, but still performs perfectly. Next thing on the list is kind of a broad category sort of thing, but that is the Grove Made Desk Accessories. I totally realize this is a luxury. It took me a lot of years to get to this point, but being able to have a beautiful space to work in is a really great thing to help increase your happiness and productivity and just your overall sense of well-being while you're working and in your home office. When doing my home office renovations last year, I found the Grove Made Accessories and just can't speak highly enough for the attention to detail and quality and craftsmanship that they provide. A few items I want to point out and talk about specifically are the desk pads or desk mats. I have the gray wool color excellent quality. Uh, they look really great and they've really held up well over time to any sort of like hand oils, dirt, dust, that sort of thing. They still continue to look great and I think they will for years to come. The laptop stand as well may be a bit overbuilt but is one of the most beautiful pieces of design that I've seen in any kind of desk accessory period. It's weighty and heavy. You can really feel and see the quality and the craftsmanship that went into it and also the desk shelves that they build. The desk shelves come in a solid hardwood or a layered plywood kind of like a Herman Miller Eames lounge. I have the layered version on my desk. It's also almost an exact match for the Walnut Flexi Spot desks. Just a quick side note if anyone's looking to build out a whole setup. But the quality of everything and the functionality and the beauty of what they build is excellent. They're also made where I live here in Portland, so I love being able to work with and support local businesses whenever I can. They did send me out a few of these items, but I also purchased a few more to fill out the setup the way I wanted. The quality of what they make is truly astonishing. If you're really looking to beautify your space, I would recommend that you check some of those out, see what fits your setup best. That's going to be it for the list and the video, though. I really hope you enjoyed this one. You know, aside from the video production equipment that I use, those items are the most crucial items in my day to day work in my home office. I'd love to hear if you have anything that's been essential for you for your home office work or your desk setup. Leave that in the comments down below. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one.